Space flight gives us a chance to reflect on the context of our existence. We're reminded that we are human before any of our differences, before all of the lines that are drawn that divide us. And we are reminded that we're at our best when we are part of something bigger than ourselves. In 1957, just over 60 years ago, history changed when Russia launched Sputnik, the world's first artificial satellite. People across the globe gathered in backyards and looked up at the night sky hoping to catch a glimpse. A few years later, people of all nationalities gripped hands, hoping and praying for Yuri Gagarin's successful launch as he became the first human in space. And in 1969, every TV across the globe was tuned in as Buzz, Michael, and Neil embarked on the first human journey to the moon. Today, human advancement of exploration continues as the first new space vehicle designed for humans in over 40 years arrived at our front door, welcomed by our crew of one Russian, one Canadian, and one American who had been living together as family for three months aboard the International Space Station. These events remind us that we are more alike than different, that we can be united by a cause that is not based on fear, threat, or common enemy, but rather on a bold endeavor, an insatiable curiosity to go beyond what is known and to do what has never been done. We humans were built for exploration, and we were built to do it together. And I think we should show off the newest space vehicle. On behalf of Ripley, Little Earth, myself, and our crew, welcome to the Crew Dragon. Congratulations to all of the teams who made yesterday's launch and today's docking a success. These amazing feats show us not how easy our mission is, but how capable we are of doing hard things. Welcome to the new era in spaceflight.